Well, we're up bright and early this morning. We got the trailer and the truck all hooked up and ready to go last night. We turned around. Yep, right after we turned the cameras off last night, that's what we spent the rest of the time doing. Well, it was last week for you guys. It was last, last week week's video, guys. but it was last, <laughs> last night, night for us. us. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, it's great doing that. I highly recommend it because, you know, you just wake up, put your clothes on, make coffee or whatever, get some food and you just, we, no, we <laughs> skip that too, but you know, and then you just roll on out of the site. So today we have a 12 hour drive. According to Google maps, it is only a, an eight hour <laughs> drive, but we have found something that works really well for us and it calculates it almost perfectly as I actually use what I did as a dispatcher for the trucking company I used to work for. And I calculate drive time at 50 miles per hour. So average speed. Yeah. Average speed at 50 miles per hour. And that works really well for us because we do stop very often. We stop to get fuel, we stop to eat for ourselves, and then we also stop to let the animals out to go to the bathroom and give them food and water as needed. So um, with all those stops and the fact that we never go over 65. We never go over 60 while we're towing. Yeah, we don't go over 60 while we're towing. Um, it means that, yes, our average speed is about 50 mile an hour. So that's what we calculated out, which means for us, since it's almost 600 miles, it's actually a 12 hour drive, not an eight hour drive to go visit my aunt in Chico. Yeah, it's gonna be a full day. Very full day. And I'm so tired and I want coffee, so we should totally well, you get, get to, now. you get to sleep. I can't sleep in the car. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm well, not... you should. You No, you can. You, you I can sleep in cars so easy. I just like, lay my head down and I pass out in about two minutes. But she, I have to like tell her, I'm like, I see you over there blinking. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. So we should hard. get a pillow. We should get a pillow for you. All right, I'll grab a pillow. Yeah, but this I'm is- I'm not a morning person. This is <laughs> our last boondocking site for the next six weeks. Cause we, you know, we'll yeah. be visiting Jenny's aunt in, Cal in Chico, California for a week. And then spending the holidays with my family in Seattle. So, you know, it's, the only thing I'm not looking forward to with visiting your family is your brother's neighbor's dog is very, I know, very annoying. Very barky, very barky in He's the morning. He's aggressive. Well, very I'm also aggressive. not, I'm also not looking forward to just the general city noise. We've got, you know, the road noise traffic. from the traffic. We've got just, you know, neighbor noise. And the, the weekly street sweeper. Just <laughs> city noise in general out here. It's quiet. so quiet. It's so, so nice, quiet. especially at night. You lay down to go to sleep and you hear Nothing. The only thing you can hear is the tinnitus in your own ears. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're not looking forward to the city noise again. You know, you lay down to go to sleep and there's still all this noise going on. Um, it's going to be really hard to sleep for a couple days. <laughs> but it's going to be really nice when we get back on the road. So let's just look forward to I'll that. I'll look forward to the quiet when we get back on the road. But we got a 12 hour drive. We better get to it. Yes. Something I think no one enjoys about California is the fuel prices. When we left the Mojave National Preserve, we had about a quarter gallon of fuel, and so we needed to stop pretty quickly. Or, yeah, fairly soon. And the first gas station we got to that had diesel, it was $4.89 a gallon, almost $5. Which is insane. So pro tip, don't stop for fuel in Ludlow, California. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or really any of the places that are around the Mojave National Preserve because it's just so rural. Um, so I was like, nope, not filling up here. We only got enough fuel to head to the, uh, the next gas station in, uh, what was it? Barstow. Okay, yeah, Barstow. Three Still expensive. Still expensive. 389 a gallon for diesel, much better. Uh, so we saved enough money to pay for lunch when we finally stop and lunch? get some food. This is gonna be breakfast. They have breakfast at 11 o'clock. They're, they're not gonna serve breakfast anymore, but it's gonna be breakfast. Yeah, breakfast for us, I guess, yeah. 
Uh, but yes, fuel prices are just crazy. And case in point, uh, about a week ago, I had to drive into Arizona because it was the nearest Walmart because we were out of groceries uh, and propane and I had to get a few things. So nearest Walmart was in Arizona and right when I crossed the border into Arizona, fuel prices dropped from like almost, or no, it was $5 a gallon, uh, dropped down to, um, what was it, uh, $260, $280 a gallon. It was like over two, over uh, three dollars, or no, three dollars a gallon, two dollars a gallon, over two dollars a gallon cheaper, just over the borders, nuts. No, oh, she's being weird. Is she getting a little upset? Yeah, yeah. she's upset. Yeah. yeah, you guys, many of you ask us, how have you trained your cats to enjoy traveling? Well, what you don't know, or what many of you do know, but what many of you might not, is that butters does not like traveling. No, she does not. She, she will hide from us when she realizes the inside of the trailer is getting packed up. And then um, every time we put her in the trailer to use the bathroom or to eat or to drink or whatever, then she hides and we have to find her and dig her out. And when we talk too loud, then she does stuff like this where she won't settle down. Um, that's the hilarious part. Like, Jenny will read something on her phone that she'll think is funny, and she'll, she'll just, like, crack I'll up, bust start, up laughing. I'll just start laughing. And uh, Butters, she meows at you and then holds, her, oh, 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 oh. holds her mouth open. She meows really loud, and yeah, and it's, she, she just keeps meowing until we, like, calm down, calm down. So, yeah, she's a little, okay. she's a little worried right now. Yeah, we just stopped and we had been stopped for a good 20 minutes. We put both the cats in the RV. They better have gone to the bathroom. Yeah. That better not be why she's wandering around like a weirdo right now. Yeah, they should had plenty of time to use the bathroom, so I'm sure. Because I, I fueled up, I washed the truck's uh, windshield, went in, I used the bathroom myself, and, and oh, oh. What? So. We were literally like exhausted this morning. I, I don't know if you can tell on camera, Jenny was like dragging. So, so tired. I, not gas only, station. yeah, not only am I not a morning person, like emotionally, like I'm not hyper in the mornings, but like if I get up too early, I am just totally exhausted, annihilated the rest of the day. Well, you got really bad sleep last night, I did. too. I was up a lot. The cats kept her up. Butters kept walking all over her. Thankfully, Butters didn't walk on me, and if she did, or if she did, it didn't wake me up. Yeah, Butters can be a butt, period, in the night. Can't spell Butters without butt. <laughs> That's the saying. She is a butt, but we love her. outside and it is already getting dark out which is totally lame I hate that the Sun sets so early and it's not gonna do us any good because we're already just tired we're already both pooped the uh, coffee is worn off <laughs> yeah the coffee the tea everything is worn off as a matter of fact I'm actually hungry again so uh, I would love to stop and eat that's, I love. I'm okay with that. Yeah, totally cool, animals, cool with that. Animals, it's about time to feed the animals too, I guess. Yeah. Um, this has been a very, very long travel day already, and we only just recently passed the halfway mark. This is a 12 hour travel day for us, which is not what we usually do. We normally stick to at most six hour travel days. Um, the reason being is because we just don't like to travel all day. We don't like to travel very far in a day, typically. And uh, the reason we're traveling so far today is because if we were to turn this into a two-day travel day, um, we're so busy with work and everything that we just don't have the time to waste on splitting a travel day into two separate days just because one of them is really long or because we have to go 600 miles or so. Um, so we just decided to, to suck it up and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and uh, drive the 12 hours, which is totally fine. We've already been on the road for eight hours now, and we've got another 250 miles to go. So 
We've got another five hours on the road at least. So it's actually gonna be closer to a 13 hour day, probably even a little longer. So we're gonna be rolling in to Jenny's aunt's house well after she's already gone to bed for the night. So we're just gonna roll in <laughs> quietly and just go to bed ourselves. And this long travel day does not have me, it's got me dreading our next travel day when we go from Chico to Seattle, because it's gonna be what, like 670 miles? Yeah, it's gonna be even longer. Yeah, it's, so gonna it's gonna be gonna... like two hours longer, if we're lucky. Oh, that was a big bump, sorry. That was a big bump, yeah. So it's gonna be like a 15 hour travel day. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a long day, and that's that's less than two weeks away, so. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, sweetie girl. Yay, long drives. We're on hour nine now, and we've stopped for food, and we let the animals all into the trailer. We fed them, took the cats in. They're actually still in the trailer while we're stopped here in the Panda Express parking lot um, for them to, you know, use the bathroom if they need. We give them water so that you know there's water on the counter so they can drink if they want need to. Sweetie got plenty of water, and we give the rabbits water as well. Taking care of everyone, taking care of ourselves. Panda Express is one of our go-tos. You get like so much food for eleven dollars, and it's good. We love Asian food, so yep. that's really good too. Feeling up, taking care of everyone, taking care of ourselves, and then it's back on the road for another three, four hours. Four hours. Four hours. If we're lucky, I think four hours. If we're lucky, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. We stopped for our fourth and final fuel up in Yuba City, California. It's uh, 375 a gallon here at this Shell station, which is still pretty high, but it's not like terrible for California prices. We're only 55 miles away from our destination, which is only an hour. Finally, we're almost there. It's like eight o'clock, so not far until we're finally there. And this long travel day is over. Well, that was our last fuel stop. We flew. You ready to be there? I'm so ready. Only an hour left. I know. Are you ready? She's so ready. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think she's ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I think everyone's ready. I know I'm ready. Everybody Oof. wants out of the truck already. Yeah, I think she's gotta go potty. I'm gonna let her potty before we leave. It's a good idea. Yeah, sweetie girl, you gotta go potty? Oh, yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> All right, let's All go, right. and then back on the road. Oh, finally! <laughs> wow. This 13 hour travel day is finally over. We just pulled into a spot on the uh, street right next to Jenny's aunt's house, and that's where we'll be hanging out for a week. What, a week in one day or a week? I'm looking at yeah. our calendar right now. I think it's like eight days, seven, yeah. seven or eight days. Yeah, so we'll be hanging out in that spot for the next eight days. We hooked up to electricity because we found out on the way here that we're out of propane, apparently. I thought we had one of our 20 pound bottles nearly full. Yeah, Come to so... find out, yeah, they're both empty. At, uh, at the stop when we got uh, Panda Express, I noticed that our fridge's check light was on. So yeah. I was like, what the heck? I thought we had... Yep. Plenty of propane. What's going on? So I go and check the bottles, and sure enough, both are empty. So we think, think that we think one yeah. of the pigtails uh, is leaking. And yeah, so we're out of propane. Yeah, we we've had just the worst luck with those pigtails that lead from the bottle to the regulator. We always have leaks with those. Um, I don't, do you guys have problems with that too? We just have had awful luck. We're on like our eighth one. We have to replace them all the time. Yeah. So yeah, I think one of them leaked and just leaked out like the whole bottle of propane. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna so have to get, <laughs> yeah, gonna have to replace that and get our propane filled. But yeah, we we hooked up to electric so that we could get our fridge running again, so that that didn't thaw out and ruin all our food. Yeah. But we're gonna wait 
to mess with water tomorrow. And leveling tomorrow. And leveling. And yeah, we're still hooked up to the truck and all that. We're not even messing with any of that because it's already... We went inside and we hung out with uh, Jenny's aunt and her boyfriend Sam for a little while. And um, it's like 10.30, 10.45 now. So we're not messing with that. We're tired. They they're, went to bed. They're tired. We're tired. We're, we're ready to go to bed now. Yeah. You know, though, it was really weird driving into town because when the last time we were in a bigger town... Um, it was before Thanksgiving, so nobody had their Christmas lights up yet. So as we were getting closer and closer to town, all these houses just dotted out on the countryside had these bright, colorful lights, and I don't know why, but I was just, like, mesmerized by them the whole drive in. <laughs> yeah, Jenny really likes Christmas lights. I'm a bit of a curmudgeon when it yeah. comes to it, but... He never wanted to set them up, and he's just like, it's a big waste of electricity. <laughs> I'm such a... I'm a bit of a Scrooge when it comes to I'm like, oh, it's a waste of plastic, a waste of power, but, you know. Yeah, but I think they're pretty, and uh, it was really weird pulling into a neighborhood. Yeah, we're like in an addition in and, a, and a, like a suburban neighborhood yeah. and it's been, this is the first time we've been in one in quite a while, so it was like, just kind of weird, a little bit of a shock. We're like, oh yeah, that's right, people, this is how people live. People they don't, live this close together. Yeah, they don't I live, forgot. and not everyone lives out in the middle of the woods or the desert. That's right. Okay, yeah, you know, it's like, gotta not get back and... Not, every compl not, ev not everybody complains that you can see your nearest neighbor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, we do do that. Like, oh, there's someone over there. What the Dang heck? Dang it! We're not alone out here? Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, we are tired, though. We are going to set the RV up just a yeah. little bit. You know, there's, you can see the mess behind us probably. Maybe you can't. A little bit of a mess. Oh, and some kitties. Some a mess and some kitties. Got to set so, that yeah. back up. We're going to get the we're <laughs> gonna get the trailer set up a little bit, but not too much because we're... So tired. Yeah, we're ready we're, for bed. Then we're going to go. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys later. Bye.